Damn. Things have really gotten crazy lately. Finally, the media has found, found something to talk about other than coronavirus. And that is the riots over the, de over the murder of George Floyd. See, <clears throat> what what turns out is there's a lot of looting and things like that and riots. At least in Minneapolis, there have been some. There has been mostly peaceful protests in other cities, but that could change at any given time. That being said, is um, there's going to be a lot of people out there who have who are going to get coronavirus because there's been a bunch of people stacked together and all that stuff. And uh, that being with all that, um, you know, there, there's going to be more hospitalizations and shit due to coronavirus. Oh yeah, and uh, it turns out there's been several people in Minneapolis that they could be government agents who are going around smashing windows even though the protesters plead with them to stop. And I think there's a government conspiracy to institutionalize, to impose martial law and become even more tyrannical. You see, um, the, it's just, you know, shit hit the fan with coronavirus, and now it's starting to feel like how, sh how we stereotypically felt shit hit the fan should be, with a bunch of carnage and uh, rioting and burning and all that stuff. However, it's like, you know, there, there, I mean, businesses are being destroyed, and um, a lot of these small businesses are often owned by black people, and uh, you're not going to help the black community by destroying shit. This is because riots are a temper tantrum. They, it's just a ma temper tantrum on a massive scale. And people always, it's just that the world is full of idiots. And what you do is, the worst thing you can do pretty much is a very destructive force is a bunch of idiots that have given, been given permission to act stupid. You see, this is um, an absolute disaster. And, um, you know, this police brutality has to stop. It's totally unacceptable. They have already ruled that cops have no duty to protect us. None whatsoever. And uh, there's a serious problem with that. There really is. And uh, it's just we have to come together and simply say no more no to police brutality. No more police brutality. What's more is um, we really, really have a problem. And um, it's not a black or white issue. It's an American issue. The police keep their jobs after doing things. They would get soldiers straight up dishonorably discharged if they did them in a war zone. Trust me, I've seen them do it all the time. That being said, is um, the economy is going to take even more hits as businesses are destroyed, and uh, the coronavirus lockdown continues. And uh, that we are headed towards, we are already in a recession right now, and it's not good. And crime rates are going to go up as people get hungrier, as they get angrier, as they get bored, and uh, it's just, you know, shit has hit the fan, and um, however, shit hit the fan was a little bit less dramatic than what we thought it would be until now, because it's like, you know, again, the coronavirus is going to infect a whole bunch of other people because people are holding rallies and things like that and uh, there's going to be a huge surge probably but anyway we need to come together and seriously make some reforms so anyway 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be good, y'all.